What's going on guys? It's P. Gimbo here and in today's episode we're going to be talking about tilt mirrors for the 2014 to 2017 Silverado and Sierra. One of the most popular questions I get asked on the forum and on YouTube is a comparison between your GM factory mirror versus aftermarket mirrors. And so what I've got for you here today is on the left, I've got a GM tow mirror. This is the DPN model against a tow mirror from 1A Auto and um, wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison for one of the most popular questions I get asked today. And that's uh, the quality differences between the two. And so for reference purposes on the left, I've got uh, this mirror by GM. This is the DPN model, not to be confused with the DQS model, which is power folding. So this DPN model is non power folding. This is a manual fold mirror. And on the right is a mirror from 1A Auto. This is a power folding mirror from 1A Auto. This part number for this mirror is 1AMRP01786. Probably one of the more popular mirrors um, I get requested for, uh, for the 1A Auto mirror. And so uh, looking at it from the back, um, you can see the differences between your park lamps. And here on your GM mirror, you've got your amber lens with your amber LEDs. And on your uh, 1A Auto mirror, you've got your smoke lamp with your amber LEDs. And if you look close, you can see that the uh, park lamp on the 1A Auto lamp here has more LEDs here as opposed to the GM one where you can, you can kind of count uh, the individual LEDs. You know, you've got one, two, three, four, and I think it wraps around on the edge here. So actually, I think you only get eight LEDs here for the bottom, for the top. And on the 1A Auto, you get a lot more. I uh, haven't really counted it, but you can kind of see there that there are a lot more LEDs in that light. Uh, the 1A Auto mirror is very popular because of the smoke lens. Um, the smoke lens is actually more preferred than the amber lens. In terms of the fit and the finish, um, the mirrors are virtually identical in the build. Uh, looking at the way the housing is made, um, you know, your black textured cap, uh, you know, your, uh, your lines, everything on the, on the GM mirror is virtually identical on the um, aftermarket mirror from 1A Auto. So let's take a look at the front. And I have actually had the opportunity to take both these mirrors apart. And so one of the key differences between the two is on the GM mirror, you've got the red chevron turn signal that's in the glass on the aftermarket mirror it is not in the glass it's actually an amber light here on the side of the cargo lamp so um, that's one of the differences oem has the red arrow chevron in the glass 1a auto is actually on the side and it's amber the reverse light or the courtesy cargo lamp light is the same it's a white you know two led spotlight and that's the same over here on the uh, GM mirror. These are manually telescoping and uh, the same thing with your 1A Auto mirror. One of the differences on the 1A Auto or this particular model is if I turn this down on its side, this one, this one has a puddle lamp and uh, the GM one does not. And so um, all the GM mirrors do not have any additional lamps down below. Um, I think 1A Auto is the only manufacturer that carries a couple of models with that puddle lamp at the bottom. So that's a nice added uh, feature if you do have the, the smaller DL3 mirrors that has that puddle lamp, um, you can actually uh, keep that on this mirror. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out is that on the GM mirror, the connector itself is, um, th there's no other extra work needed. And on the 1A Auto, uh, I've actually worked on this mirror already. So the 1A Auto will have some additional uh, modifications that will need to be made to this connector to make it essentially plug and play with my harnesses. So um, that does not look like this out of the box. I'll show you a picture of what that looks like out of the box, but I just wanted to point that out. Um, you know, this one is power folding. So if you uh, open up the gasket here, There'll be uh, some components in here that um, control the circuitry for the folding mechanism that is in the arm there. Uh, and this one is manual fold. So, uh, so the upper glass is powered up, down, left, right. 
as is with the uh, aftermarket mirror. Um, and again, the, the major differences on these two mirrors here is uh, the turn signal, not in the glass, it's on the side. And then on the back side is your uh, park lamp lens is smoke versus amber. Now I, I've actually swapped these two, so you can actually swap these two out. Um, the top cap, the bottom caps, the park lamps um, are interchangeable. I was able to actually change that. And I believe the glass in the front is also the same thing as well too. So just want to do a quick side by side. I'm going to be putting both of these on the truck and actually drive around to see if there are any differences with vibration. I've been hearing reports of the upper glass vibrating a little bit, um, but I think that's a common issue with, with both style mirrors. So I'm gonna put them both on, we'll take a look. One of the things that I wanted to note is that on the GM mirror, there is a fourth stud that is um, on here by default, so you do have to drill that hole out in your door if you don't already have that. On the aftermarket mirror, um, the stud is not, I don't know if you can see that, but the stud is not installed. Um, 1A Auto provides that stud, so in every test that I've done with the 1A Auto mirror, I've always done it without the fourth stud. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys installed in the truck, and uh, we'll do a quick side-by-side -side and road test with each of the mirrors. All right, guys, so I've got these two mirrors here. Um, these mirrors are identical mirrors from 1A Auto. This is the part number 1AMRP01786. Uh, this particular mirror is the power folding with mirror memory and that bonus puddle lamp that we talked about. And so what I wanted to show you is uh, what these look like out of the box and what it looks like after I repin to make them plug and play. So out of the box, uh, 1A Auto has this orange wire uh, located onto pin number one and this yellow wire on pin two and this orange wire is actually the puddle lamp at the bottom as opposed to the park lamp on the back. The factory tow mirror will have the um, park lamp on that pin one slot. So what I do is I essentially take this blue wire which is the park lamp and land it on slot one and I relocate this to slot six which is an unused slot on this connector. And then on the other side of this harness, my custom plug and play harness will be pinned correctly as well. So not only will you have the cargo lamp, the turn signal and the park lamp, but you will also have the puddle lamp functional like factory. So just wanted to show you what that looked like out of the box. This will not be plug and play. Uh, there's going to be some hard wiring required depending on how you want that configured. So um, when I'm done with it, it will look like this. So all the circuits are landed. You plug it into my custom plug and play harness and it just works when you go to plug it in. So just wanted to show that to you. All right guys, I've got these mirrors installed. Uh, the sun has set a little bit, so it is a little darker. And I wanted to show you what these mirrors look like. On the driver's side is the 1A auto mirror. And as you can see, the lens is a smoke lens with amber LEDs. You've got about 14 uh, LEDs on the bottom row, 14 on top. So a total of about 28 LEDs on the 1A Auto aftermarket mirror. We come across to the passenger side. This is the GM mirror. And you've got four LEDs on the lower and four on the upper for a total of eight LEDs with your uh, amber lens here. We look at this from the front the gm mirror will be more prominent on the amber only because that led is dispersing that light on an amber lens as opposed to the smoke lens let's go around to the back so you can see what this looks like from the back now i do have these set as dual function so these uh, leds are in a dimmer state if i turn the hazards on what those will look like. So when the turn signal is applied, they will dual function as a park lamp and a turn signal. And as your turn signal there on the side. Let's go over to the passenger side. So again, the passenger side also has a modified harness so that the park lamp is a dim state. And when the turn signal is applied, full voltage is sent making that into a turn signal. And you've got your red Chevron 
in the glass. We want to take a look at this from the back. Give you an idea what that turn signal looks like in comparison. So you can see the red Chevron there on the passenger side. And then on the driver's side, you've got your amber to the left of the cargo lamp. Now when you're sitting inside the cab, you can see the red chevron in the glass. So this is your view from the inside of the cab. And if we go to the driver's side, you cannot see that turn signal. Uh, if you stick your head out to the side, you can see it a little bit there. Let's get our backup light, reverse light turned on. So there's your reverse cargo lamp. Now for some reason, uh, the one on the passenger side is not working. So I need to do some testing on that. So I'll take a look at that. So one of the concerns that uh, I've been hearing on these tow mirrors is that the upper glass experiences uh, some vibrations when you're traveling at highway speeds. And so one of the reasons why I wanted to put these in uh, and actually drive them at the same time is to compare the vibrations uh, between the 1A Auto aftermarket mirror against the factory GM mirror. And I will say that both mirrors actually have about the same amount of vibration um, on that upper glass. So it's this glass up here. Uh, when you're driving about 65, 70 miles per hour, um, that glass does kind of vibrate a little bit. So I did experience that on both um, the GM factory mirror and in the aftermarket mirror. I did install the uh, fourth stud um, as recommended in both mirrors. Um, I was hoping that was going to improve but I did notice a little bit of vibration. So uh, if you're thinking about going aftermarket versus GM, I will say that the uh, mirrors from 1A Auto are very comparable for about half the price. And um, there are some options with the smoke lens. The mirror caps are interchangeable, so you can actually take these off and replace them with chrome if you wanted to. I know there are a couple of uh, websites out there where you can get these as a smooth a black or primered so you can actually paint to match. Um, you, you can get them in this black textured or you can get them in chrome. So there are some options with that and um, these mirrors are built just like uh, the GM uh, factory mirrors. All right guys, it is a little bit darker, so just wanted to get another shot of these uh, tow mirror comparisons between the aftermarket and the GM mirror. Put your puddle lamp and your dual function park lamp and turn signal.
Well, there you have it, guys, a side-by-side -side comparison of an aftermarket mirror by 1A Auto versus a factory GM mirror. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching.